Hey YouTube. Okay, 1986 Fox Body Mustang uh, power steering rack, power steering pump. Uh, thing was leaking like there's no tomorrow. So uh, I figured, you know what, I'll get rid of the power steering pump, get rid of the power steering rack, put a manual steering rack in, and that will solve my problems. So I uh, haven't put the new steering rack in, but looking at that's uh, a little closer now realizing that okay so this is a frankenstein car i do not have a serpentine belt on mine which typically you would for that uh, year manufacture but i got v belts on mine so the alternator is tightens up and the one belt but now i still have one belt here that drives the water pump that needs to go back on so i need to build something now to replace where the power steering pump was and i'm going to show you what we're going to do to get that fixed up so from the old power steering pump, uh, we're going to remove the bracket, and I got that all cleaned up already. Just kind of skip, skip the steps already, so there were three bolts that held it on and removed that. Uh, so the bracket here, this is the one that sits on the adjuster, and essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build something right up here uh, to house a, a, row, a rod and a pulley. So what I did to start off with is I got some cardboard, cut out some cardboard, uh, figured out where the holes were, and uh, mounted that on there as such, just to make sure I got the right setup on this, make sure the holes are right. Uh, once I get it in there, I know I could use this as a template. I located where I want the shaft uh, to be for the pulley. So I went out and bought a pulley. Uh, this actually is a Gates 38003 pulley. Uh, show you that here so gates and there's a part number there got this one from Napa and this is a V belt so being a typically my car would have a serpentine belt but uh, being it's a Frankenstein car it actually has a V belt has V belts on it so gonna use this for the pulley on the tensioner that I'm gonna be building so I built myself a template so essentially this is what I'm gonna do now and uh, then I went to Home Depot and I bought some steel quarter inch steel uh, this is quarter inch by four and it was 12 so I ended up taking my template out and put it on the steel and I got a marker markered it all off and I brought it to work and I actually cut did a couple cuts on there and then drilled four holes so this is what I ended up making it work so there it is there so you can see that so again quarter inch steel we got our three eighths uh, holes here and the five eighths there that the shaft for the bearing is going to sit on for the pulley and you can see there that that uh, well anyways that's where it, where the template came in all right so this thing here i'm going to do is i'm just going to pause the video i'm going to mount this on here real quick and show you what how i put this together okay so my new fabricated bracket is sitting here on the power steering the old power steering pump bracket and it's all it all lines up well now one thing you need to note as well is the old power steering pump uh, when it was sitting on here you want to measure the distance between the faceplate here and the base or the inside of the pulley uh, you're gonna need to know that because your new setup is gonna have to match that as close as possible and you'll see in a minute what I mean about that. Uh, so for the the shaft to put the pulley on, what I have is a 5 8 threaded rod. It was 12 inches long. I cut that to size. And I got some hardware to go along with it. And I got my 5 8 hole that I got drilled in here. And let me just pause the video for a sec. I'm going to put that in there and come right back at you. All right. So what I have here is actually have two large washers uh, along with a bolt. And when I put the pulley on this, you will find that the measurement I have is from the back here is one inch. Let's see if I can show you that. There we go. So that's how I got the, the measurement on this uh, where it needs to be. So again, you have to measure that off of the old uh, power steering pump with the bracket on. So you know how much distance you have between the bracket and the pulley and then you need to mimic that. So uh, I initially had two bolts in here in the center for standing off the pulley from the bracket and it was too much, but I found two washers and a bolt worked out perfectly. And I cut the bolt long enough so that I can throw two bolts on here. 
And what I do is I'm going to put these against one another to tighten those up really good. Uh, and there it is. There is the bracket, homemade uh, B-belt tensioner, uh, sitting on a shaft with a pulley. And uh, just looking at the base here, uh, I don't know if you could see it too well, but these bolts are just the perfect size for pinching the base of the pulley on here without rubbing onto the part that doesn't doesn't spin. So uh, that worked out really well. That was actually that was a fluke. I didn't plan that. Uh, I just got lucky on that. So I'm going to put this in the vehicle and show you what it looks like. All right. So there's the old bracket from the power steering with the new tensioner on it, the home build job, and there's the bolt that you use for tightening it. So you'll see that by the time I get this tightened up and I get the belt just snug, we're pretty well in the middle of, of our adjustment spot. So if this belt stretches a little bit, we still have room for getting that in there, getting that tightening, snugging that up. And one of the things to note here, uh, you can see here that the belt lines up perfectly with where the pulley on the water pump is. So that is good. The one thing as well, I'm, initially I thought I'd be I'm better off getting a larger pulley but when I start thinking about it, you're probably better off going with a smaller pulley. The reason for that is there's less stress on the uh, on the shaft that way uh, when the thing turns. So chances are it'll probably work a little better. So this thing is, uh, so I'm going to take this apart, going to paint this up, put it back on, and uh, I'll show you what it's like with the thing running. Okay, so got everything painted, uh, put it back together for the most part. Uh, so just a heads up here. So this bolt here that sits on the pulley, I just put this snug. Uh, be careful you don't over tighten that because you probably damage the bearing mechanism on the pulley. You don't want to do that. Uh, just snug is good. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the second bolt on here and put these tight towards one uh, against one another. That'll prevent that uh, even though this one's snug, that'll prevent the bolts from backing off. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite in there uh, just to keep these uh, from uh, loosening off as well. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll put it on the vehicle. Okay, so the do-it-yourself tensioner pulley is completed, installed, things are tight, uh, and you'll see here that things worked out pretty good because I still have room to go either way for adjustments on this. So uh, if this belt stretches a little bit, I can still tighten it up, which is good. And uh, just to, I mentioned it before, but just come back to it again. So the old power steering pump was one inch off of the pulley and you could see here that I am at one inch so that worked out pretty good and again I had to use two washers in there to get the spacing correct on that so that is good so things are lined up well and I should be good to go on that so I'll start up the car and we'll see how it goes all right and you can see everything's running and uh, looks like we're in business so the uh, pulley install was successful Anyways, I hope this uh, video helps you guys, and uh, happy motoring.